Okay, welcome to the second part of the exercises on the rules of probability. We are now going to look at exercise three. An experiment consists of two events, and the probability of A is 0.6 and the probability of B is 0.2. Calculate the probability that A or B will occur if A and B, first of all, are mutually exclusive. So our keyword here is the word or. If we have the word or, we know that we are working with the union of A and B. So the probability for A union B, and now we make use of the addition rule. Now because A and B are mutually exclusive, we know that the probability of the intersection is equal to zero. So that's why we can take that out and we substitute. and get 0 0.8. Now we want to repeat the same thing except that now A and B are independent. So A union B, I make use of the addition rule. Now because A and B are mutually, ex uh, rather because A and B are independent, I can substitute the probability of the intersection with the product of the individual probabilities. And again, I do my substitution. And we get an answer of 0 0.68. In exercise four, I have probability A 0.1, probability A union B 0.7, and I want to find the probability of B if A and B are mutually exclusive. So again, I make use of my addition rule. And now because A and B are mutually exclusive, I can write down my addition rule without the last without subtracting the probability of the intersection. And to find the probability of B, I substitute the probabilities that are given. That's 0 0.7 minus 0 0.1, and that is 0 0.6. Now again, we want to repeat the same thing. We want to find the probability of B if A and B are independent. So I start with my addition rule and then I subtract the probability of the intersection of A and B. But because A and B are independent, I can write the probability of the intersection of A and B as the product of the two individual probabilities. Now I reshuffle this a little bit. Okay, and I know that the, the probability of A or B uh, is equal to 0 0.7. I know that the probability of A is 0.1. And to find the probability of B, I now substitute or rather divide this by 1 minus the probability of A. So 1 minus 0 0.1 to give me 0 0.9. And if I calculate that, I get that the probability of B is 0 0.67. Okay, next let, let's look at exercise 5. A contractor has submitted bids for two state construction projects. The probability that the contractor will be awarded contract A is 0.3 and the probability that the contractor will be awarded contract B is 0.2. And these two events are independent. If we want to calculate the probability, 
that the contractor will be awarded both projects. So we want to find the probability for A and B. And because A and B are independent, we can write the probability of the intersection as the product of the two probabilities. So that's the probability of A times the probability of B. 0.3 times 0.2 and that probability is then 0 0.06. Then in question 2, calculate the probability that the contractor will be awarded neither of the two contracts. So that means that we want to find the probability of not A and not B. Now because A and B are independent, the complements of A and B are also independent. So we can write this as the probability of not A times the probability of not B. Now the probability of the complement of A is of course just 1 minus the probability of A. So that's 1 minus 0 0.3 which is 0 0.7. And the probability of the complement of B will then be 0 0.8. And that probability then gives us 0 0.56. Now you can go and check for yourself. You can write this probability of not A and not B. If you draw a Venn diagram, you can check and see that this is the same as finding the probability of A union B the complement. So that would be 1 minus the probability of A union B. And by drawing a Venn diagram you will see that this is true. Okay and then question 3. Calculate the probability that the contractor will be awarded at most one of the two contracts. So at most one of the two contracts means that it is the probability of complement A or complement B. And we can also say that, that it will be awarded at most one of the co two contracts is the complement that both um, contracts will be awarded. So we can write this as the probability of A and B complement. And that is 1 minus the probability of A and B. And we have already calculated the probability of A and B in question 1. So that will be 1 minus 0 0.06, 0 0.94.